this was an awake patient, I put local anesthetic into the region where I think I would need to go. And usually what I do is I'd feel for the carotid pulse, knowing that the vein is adjacent to it and just in the subcutaneous tissue infill local anesthetic. Put that in the sharps area. I find the right location, so say a couple of centimeters above the clavicle, and then I put my needle. So right there is my needle on the screen, and that's going right above the carotid. So I'm gonna actually just move it across so it's near where the vein is. I'll go at about a 45 degree angle, always trying to keep an idea of where my vein is. And so I'm jiggling there, you can see the tissue distortion. I'm aspirating as I go in, tilting the angles as I need to. I wasn't going smoothly. I was really trying to do sharp, short stabs. And as you can see there, I've now got a uh, blood flow back. I just make sure that I confirm that I'm in. And sometimes I have to pull back a little bit, take my wire, make sure it goes about even 30 seconds. Again, I'm keeping an eye on exactly what's happening with the monitor. I then take the needle out and I'm just pushing with my wire to make sure that everything is fine like that. And that goes into the sharps area. So look at that. You can see that white dot there. That is the wire and it's going into the IVC very far away from where the artery is, the carotid artery is nowhere near that wire. So that's really important. I'm pretty confident I'm in the right spot. I'll make sure that my wire can move adequately. Next part, I make an incision and I just go alongside the wire, make sure I'm not cutting down onto the wire and just do a quick stab like that and make sure the wire is free within that extra five to 10 millimeter incision. At this point, you often get a lot of blood flow occurring, a lot of bleeding, so I just dab that. I now load the dilator just onto the wire and I make sure that I've always got eyes on the wire. It never goes in past the dilator. And then I just do a short dilation. Just remember, I'm not dilating all the way down to the hub because that can cause a laceration and tear this SVC. So I'm only going in about maybe three centimeters or so. I'm now ready to put the wire. And again, in my sterile field, I just load the tip of this wire across like that. And again, I've got my eyes on the wire at all times. I make sure that it comes out from this distal end before I do anything. So I can see that that's all safe. This is a 20 centimeter catheter, that's 10 centimeters, and that's 15 centimeters. So that point, I insert down to about 11 or so centimeters. I take the wire out and should be able to very slow blood flow back. Again, I put my finger on the end here to make sure that I'm not in the wrong spot. You can sometimes see the catheter, but you can see it there. It's not as bright as the wire. What I do then is I check that I'm in the right position by aspirating, and you can see the red blood back. And at that point, I can now cap the distal lumen with this bone. Just like what I did for the distal lumen, I check and aspirate. You can see the red blood come back and that's all good. I just check that all lumens are working before I can use this. So make sure it's around 11 centimeters, which is there. And then I'm able to tie it down.